no PB blaster, no soaking for hours. As you can see, I've run this clip continuously. There's no cuts, it works. Alright guys, so I get a lot of requests and I get a lot of emails about how to get these pulleys off the tops of transmissions. So I'm just going to show you the tricks that I use in order to take the pulley off and hopefully it'll help somebody else out. Uh, the first thing that you're going to have to get off is going to be the clip and you're going to need a set of spanners like this. And once that's off, we can really get started. Alright, so in order to do this project, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a Map Pro torch. Propane just plain does not get hot enough sometimes. I really recommend that you get into the Map Pros. Um, these self-lighting torches you can pick up at Home Depot really cheap nowadays. Another thing you're going to need is you're going to need something to drive down as a pin. I find that snapped off ratchet um, extensions work really good and they fit just inside the diameter of the pin in the middle. Another thing that you will need is you're going to need a candle. I find that tiki candles work really well. They pop out so that they're easy to work with. So you're going to need a candle for the wax. Other items that you're going to end up needing is going to be a sawhorse, two two by fours, probably somewhere at least about two and a half to three foot long, and potentially either a pickle fork or a tie rod splitter, depending on where you live and what you call it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need our candle wax and we're going to need our benzo torch. So what we're going to do is we want to heat up the hub in the underside. We want to specifically target the pulley. We're trying not to heat the shaft up. So from the underside you're going to target the underside hub and you're going to warm it up and then from there we're going to take and we're going to add wax. You want to start with the side with the keyway and we're going to add wax to it and we're going to add a bunch on the keyway side and then we're going to come around to the back side adding wax. Be careful when you're doing this you don't get it too hot and catch it on fire right up your hand. on the opposite side of the keyway. And the idea here is to heat it up and draw the wax across. Sometimes you gotta spin it a little. So at that point, you should be able to add the wax, and you actually will see bubbles start coming down through the wax. So you should be able to add it in and have it soak down through. Alright, so now that we have it at this point, and we still have it quite warm, you want to take your 2x4, and you want to 
You want to wedge it in with your shifter nut out. Remember, you're dealing with really hot wax right now. So with your shifting knob out, wedge a 2x4 in. There. Now drop it down in between the saw horses. Now wedge your other 2x4 in from the other side. And now at this point, you should be able to take your pin and drop it right down through. So once you get it through like this and you know for sure it's going down, make sure you have something underneath in order to catch the tranny. My recommendation would be a melt crate. Because once it goes, it's going to drop straight down. Ready? And there we go. That's how you remove a pulley, no PB blaster, no soaking for hours. As you can see, I've run this clip continuously. There's no cuts, it works.